So we're just gently heating the edges. And rolling them down just to get that rounded effect. You can see a nice rounded effect on the edges there so that it just means there's less likelihood of something grabbing on the edge and lifting it up. So there we have it. We've got a, now a quite a large patch. Um, we're probably talking about eight inches long and four inches wide that's welded totally solid over that hole that we had there. The next job with a large one like this, that would probably do the job if that patch is welded really well. That would be quite successful. That would be a good patch that, that would last for the life of the membrane. But just for insurance on a very large patch like this, it is recommended that we now put another patch over the back. Um, just in case there was a bubble or a little bit of a, a, a miss weld in amongst any of that, if we put another large patch over the back, it'll actually reinforce it. So now we're going to turn the, the membrane over and we're going to put a, a slightly larger patch across the back. So the idea here is, is we want to come out just, just past the extent of that. So we'll put a patch that's about that big over the back of that. So what I can do here is, just using a bit of material, is I can measure this up to that length and that width. Chop that off, round the corners. round the corners up. So now we'll just turn the membrane over and we'll work. You can see here there's there's the mouse hole, the repair patch is covering this area, there's the cut. So what we're going to do is we're just going to cover this area over here. It's a good idea we we put a bit of board in under the between the two layers of membrane because as we're welding we won't, don't want the surface to, to weld onto the previous surface. So we just slide a bit of board under there. Righto, so here's our area here that we want to fix. We can feel the where the old patch is on the underneath, just marking the corners of that now. And feel feel the thickness under there. So we just want this patch to be a little bit bigger that way, central that way. So we want this patch to go in that area there. The air, and you can see there we've got a little bit of coverage all around the old patch. The air side of the membrane is always a lot cleaner. Um, we can see little bits of wine around here, so the cleaning process on this side is a lot quicker, but it's just as important because what there will be on this side is there might not be the same amount of wine, but there is quite often some, some greasy residue that's left from the, from the barrel of the press. So what we do need to do is we need to go through exactly the same process. We need to use the MEK, we need to agitate the surface and get back to a nice raw material. So we do, even though you can't see the wine on the surface, there still is debris on the surface and it's really vital that we clean the debris off the surface and use the MEK to do that. All right, same process again. We want to clean this area on this side. Just soak the steel wool with the MEK. And I've got just a nice puddle of MEK there. And same thing, at this, this time we're not seeing the wine come off, but there is some soiling that's coming off. There's some black aluminium or black steel coming off that, that from the press. And that will act as a barrier between the, the old membrane and the new patch if we don't clean it off properly. So even though you can't see the same amount of dirt, it's just as important to do a very thorough clean. Now we've given that a good swish over with the MEK. Now remove all the excess MEK. Again, this is quite tacky, so we'll just stiffen up the surface with some alcohol solution. And quite liberal with the alcohol, it does evaporate. So you can put it on quite liberally. And as you're putting it on, you can feel the surface sticking up underneath, stiffening up under the rag. 
So we're now back ready for, we've now got our, our area prepared again, ready for our repair. Now, just like before, there's the original patch is that size. Our patch is coming out to this big here. So this is quite a large patch. So again, we won't, we won't work around the edges. We'll work a strip up the centre and we'll just work in strips across, across this as we go. And while we're working in strips, we can't be holding air pockets in there. If we're working from in strips and we're working from the centre out, we can't hold air pockets in there. If we work around the edges, we, we encapsulate air and that means you can get a problem later on. We'll sit our patch nice and square, roll it over again, and are holding it, as you can see, just holding the patch on the roller with the thumb again. And this time, in this area here, you can see we're actually gonna be welding where this hole is, where that sort of like mouse hole was, we're actually gonna be welding the, the patch material onto the patch material on the other side, not onto the membrane itself. So we're welding through the hole. And where we weren't welding over a bit of uneven layers like this, it's a good idea I'm putting a bit of extra pressure on the roller now so it, it conforms around the shape of the little hole that's down there. So you can see here, you can just see the outline of that there. I'll just peel that edge up a little bit while it's warm and peel that edge up so we've got a nice straight edge to work on. Now we can just work our way and virtually we're just chasing the nozzle out with the roller. Just a little bit light just there. We'll do the same coming back this way. You can see as you come out here, you can actually see the melted substance there. You can see even a little bit of melt coming through to the top there. So there's plenty of indicators to, to tell you if it's melting properly or not. Again, just while it's hot, we just freshen that up to the edges. And again, that's within the weld width of the nozzle now. So we'll just start from here and work our way down there and we'll do the same over this side. So we'll just get that nice and warm in there. And again, we're just working our roller just on a slight angle so that we're working towards the corner. I'm not going to put any little tucks and bubbles in it. Now with a large area patch like this, uh, the material stays quite soft and molten for some time underneath there. So sometimes after you finish the weld, you just need to keep on pressing it down for a little while just so that it doesn't gradually separate. So we just keep on working this as it's cooling. Just to ensure it's nice and hard. Then we just finish off this little corner. And that's just forcing the nozzle into that gap. And again, working the roller out towards the corner. So now we've just got one more strip to do down along this side. Again, slide the air nozzle under there. And just gently work your roller on the angle again. Just work our way out through this last corner here. The urethane fabric is very repair friendly. You can actually see on one side of the material. I can tell from the outside of the material when it's melting on the other side. You can, you can just see the imprint of the material coming through, so it's quite easy to work with. Now again, we're just gonna go around these edges there to round them all out. Just give the nozzle a little bit of clean ready for next time. And 
just turn the air gun down and and here we have just a, a nice quite large patch that's probably six inches by by nearly ten inches long but but it's quite secure and on the other side we have the smaller patch so this this big hole we had here is all now completely reinforced so we've got the about a four inch by six inch patch on this side and, and a larger patch on this other side. That's all very, very secure. So that's the completion of, of a large patch. So now just to refresh on some critical points. Firstly, ensure that the material used for patching the membrane is a direct match for the membrane you're repairing. The best way to do this is to do a small sample repair on, or a small sample patch on, on the flap of the membrane prior to starting. That way you can check that it is right. The next part after that is the cleaning. The cleaning is absolutely crucial to a good repair. You can only repair a membrane as well as it's been cleaned. If we don't clean the contaminants off the surface, we can't get a good bond between the patch material and the, the membrane material. So absolutely crucial to clean it properly first. The next bit, is probably with the setting on the heat gun and probably one of the most common mistakes with doing patches is to try to operate with too high of heat and so the idea of doing test weld first to ensure that you've got a nice gentle heat and you should be able to to touch the material with the nozzle without causing damage you sh it should only melt after you leave it in the one spot for a small period of time say five seconds or so before you start to get a melt so that way we can do a nice gentle slow repair and we're not rushing as soon as you start to rush that's when you'll get mistakes burnouts or even creases as you're doing the patch so nice gentle heat another crucial point is that what you actually press the membrane on and in this example I've been using I've got a wooden table underneath here this this here is a wooden table wood is very good because it doesn't suck the heat out of the weld if if we're welding on inside a press and we're welding onto steel what you'll find is the steel will suck the heat through the material and take the heat away from the welding zone so it's always a good idea to try to have some wood and a wooden panel in behind the welding area and that way the wood will retain the heat in the weld and don't use something cold like steel because it'll suck the heat away from the welding zone. If you follow these examples it should be possible especially with a Bartlett urethane membrane it should be possible to do a very good quality membrane and even if you have had the experience of a cut or a nick or, or a gouge taken out of your membrane, it should be able to be easily serviced and, and put back and last as long as a, an original membrane. Your Bartlett membrane will come supplied with a repair kit. The repair kit includes the DVD that you're watching, a promotional flyer, and also a variety of patches that are suitable for the repair. The patches come in a variety of sizes to ensure that if there is damage to your membrane you've always got enough material to cut the right size patch out of.